This is amazing, right? Yeah, I just uh, decided to bring up a video to you guys uh, because I know some of us might be finding it difficult to do this little task, but I found it that something very important for me to explain to you guys how it actually works. Because so many times we have to do some things and we actually do not know how they work. So today we will be doing what we call the soft box. So this is the Godox soft box, which I will show you exactly how to mount it up and how to dismantle. You might actually find this having the, the circular soft box, but for mine, this is uh, the rectangular. So here we go. Well, it doesn't actually come with this. I bought this separately when I was buying my umbrella from noon.com. So we have the film here. This is a reflector. So we have the reflector underneath. You can see that. It's a very nice and easy to use reflector. I love it, but it's actually very expensive, you know. So you see, Godox. So over here we have four different metals, which you basically need them to connect these uh, angles of the, the reflector to the frame. You know, this is a ring. This is actually the rim where all of this will have to be mounted. You see that? Like this. Directly on the opposite side. And like this. So this is exactly the way you're going to use this when you're mounting this uh, soft box onto the rim. In this case, I will take you through how to mount and to dismantle. First step, pick up the, so the reflector, pick one of these, you open, and if you can see right inside, we have some rubber straps over here, plastic, and we have this very strong material over here. So what you want to do is, first, pass one tip of the metal into the elastic and into that holder. Then push it all the way through to come out here and then feed it into the holder. See we have a holder here. So you feed it nicely into the holder. And you probably do the same for all the rest. Making sure they fit nicely. We go to the next. And lastly, we have this. Fit that nicely in it. Okay. So now we have all of the metals being positioned properly. So the next step and the most difficult step will be to insert these metals properly as well into the rim. So what you want to do is make this as comfortable as you can because it's quite more difficult at this stage but if you are someone who really want to do something you will for sure make it through so what you want to do is make sure you get in the right positions because if you can see we have two we have one we have two we have one we have two we have one so what you want to do is to make sure they are coming from the same directions you see if you are choosing these two steps you're making sure they are coming from the same direction for instance we have here one and two we have two we have here one and three we have two we have here one and two so we have one and three so if you are choosing one and two and one and three you have them here you can find them on the opposite side over here one and two one and two one and three one and three one and two this is to direct you exactly what you're doing because if you have to use a circular ring then in that case where you will be using more than four of these 
metallic uh, wires then you will have to use like maybe three one two three four and five depending on how many metals you will be needing but I probably think those ones out there that are having the rims and the bigger ones you might probably be needing six of these metals in this case we just need only four and with the four that we have already since it's a rectangular reflector we just have to see how we can start mounting it up so you would really want to put your rim to stay stable and nicely first you get the rim over here and then where are we going we are going one two and one three so i go one three you see one three and the other side i go one two so i have one three one two over here then i turn on the other side having this in mind turn on the other side always make sure all the ends are well fitted because if you don't fit the ends if you don't fit the metals into the at the end of the soft box you will find it very difficult to complete the task in this case now what you want to do is push towards the side which you inserted already so when you push you bring this in into three I told you it's very difficult but you must make it if you are determined so now we are left with one side and in order to solve this you hold at this point where you want to pull we are pulling this way right so I hold the tip of this I push this behind and I pull this then I insert you see that close this up nicely and do same for the other sides so there we go we have it mounted peacefully and nicely so what you want to do now is to make sure you balance the position so what you do is grip an angle and shift the metal nicely wow it's amazing so there we go and what next you can decide to put in the reflect the the the, the diffuser depending on what you want mounting the diffuser onto this So you make sure you get it at the right point. Sticking it nicely. And there you go see mounting is completed see looks good right now the next step is how to dismantle dismantling it is as difficult as mounting it so in this case first you want to do is to remove the diffuser you take off the diffuser
to take that off completely and fold it nicely. You can just keep on the side, doesn't matter where you're keeping it. You flip and let it be this way, having the rim up, you open all of this. And what you want to do now is, you saw how we ended, right? Pulling this and pulling the, 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 the metal, then bringing them back together. So while you're pulling the metal, before inserting, you're making sure you press. It's like you're pressing to make sure it has that curvy nature. Because if that curvy nature is not being experienced there, you cannot insert. So in the same way, we will have to do this. We will have to remove. What you want to do, you press down from here. You put your thumb over here, press down, and you pull. Oh, it's not coming. Press down and pull. See? It's very difficult, like I told you. So mounting is as difficult as dismantling. So what we want to do now, we press down and remove. You see that? And what you want to do is, you remove the opposite side. So as to get some little bit of freedom. Then next, you do same for these guys. Just have it this way. Then you do like, you're folding the other side. Because when you fold this side, it reduces the tension. You can see there's a lot of tension so far. So So when you have to fold the other rim, because if I do like this, it's folded, then I remove nicely, just like that. And you dismantle these ones nicely and keep them on the side. You see that? Fold this with love. And do same for the other side. Diffuser, put it in, close it once more, and there we go. You get the pack, pack it in nicely. See that? Get your wires. Drop them in nicely and boom, you fly away.